Hello, I'm Vasan Nanjan Deshman, Senior Director of Product Management for Automotive Cockpit Solutions at Qualcomm Technologies. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for joining me today in the Computex Cyberworld Forum. Today, we look a bit deeper into the new trends in the digital cockpit space and how Qualcomm is addressing the changing landscape. The automotive industry is at the inflection point of major change and evolution to new electrical engineering architectures. These changes have significant impact on the overall evolution of the next generation of cockpit designs and significant changes in the platforms that are required to support them. Qualcomm is an industry-leading automotive supplier with two decades of experience in the automotive space. Our solutions are widely adapt adapted in the worldwide market and the Asian market is no different. We are a trusted supplier and a partner to major Chinese OEMs and our solutions are widely used across telematics, cockpit and autonomous driving systems. We're also a major participant in the standards bodies in China. As you can see, Qualcomm's cockpit solutions with OEMs in China is listed. WM Motors, Leap Motor, Great Wall Motors, BYD, Cherry and Neo have all announced cockpit and autonomous solutions using Qualcomm Snapdragon solutions. This is but a sample of our recent traction and there's more to come from Qualcomm Automotive in the future. There are three major trends that drive the evolution of the car architecture. Macro auto automotive trends and micro trend trends that are specific to the cockpit and ADAS architectures. Macro trends include the drive to electrification, the growth of autonomous driving, and the ever-increasing ramp of connected cars. And lastly, the shared car experience. All these macro trends are mileposts in the march towards the software-defined car of the future one that provides dynamic configuration of the car and pushes the transformation of a mechanical, hardware-centric vehicle to a software device on wheels. These macro trends, in turn, influence the ADAS and cockpit domain architectures. The ADAS domain complexity rises as we move from L2 to L5, thereby necessitating the need for higher perception, cameras, radar, and other sensors. Similarly, the complexity on the cockpit domain is also increasing higher resolution displays, streaming media content to occupant displays, and in-car monitoring services all co contribute to the growing complexity in the cockpit domain. Together, these micro and macro trends drive the adoption of a new EE architecture, also called the zonal compute architecture. Current EE architectures can also be turned as traditional or a central gateway-driven architecture. These are modular designs with multiple 50 to 100 ECUs or embedded control units in a car, each with a specific function. For example, a battery management ECU, an environmental control ECU. Each of these would interface with the vehicle gateway. This central gateway is now slowly being replaced by the domain controller architecture. The domain controllers can consolidate the functions of multiple ECUs. A perfect example of this is the cockpit domain controller, which seamlessly melds the functionality of IVI, cluster, heads-up display, rear seat audio processing functions into one ECU that connects into the backbone. The domain controller is now commonplace due to the inherent advantages of lowered costs due to ECU consolidation, reduced cabling and weight costs, and leveraging the advantages of silicon innovations, thereby providing the optimum power performance trade-off. But it has its own limitations in addressing the growing complexity of ADAS and cockpit solutions. Software complexity is also going up, and so the EE architecture has to evolve to a more centralized compute or zonal architecture. This architecture is defined by the need for a homogeneous compute solution that allows for reuse of hardware and software resources, and the zone controller has a specific information for a specific zone. For example, cameras, radars, that are then shared back with the central computer. The key benefits of this zonal architecture is the reduced complexity of the compute domain, reduced costs due to consolidation of various domain controllers into one central controller, and reduced cabling costs. These reduced complexity and costs are the primary motivation in the adaption and adoption of the new zonal architecture trends. Now we can clearly see the automaker's motivation in adopting the new zonal architecture. But let's take a closer look at the components of this architecture. The main building block of this block of zonal architecture is the central computer that provides for consolidation of cockpit, ADAS, gateway, body controllers, telematics, and wireless ECUs, amongst others. This central compute ECU will then be paired with satellite ECUs or aggregators in the different zones that provide legacy vehicle bus support. 
The central compute ECU will then integrate high-speed serial link, SERDES-based, or new Ethernet topologies, including time-sensitive networks, to connect to the zones, providing the multiple tens of gigabits of bandwidth with real-time communication support. The zones would then connect to external displays, cameras, audios, audio sources and sinks, and high-speed actuators and sensors, including LiDAR and radar. The software paradigm also shifts to real-time oriented hypervisors, increasing security needs, as well as legacy code or application support, and additionally, the safety separation needed for the aggregation of these various domains. The zonal architecture can also be enhanced to provide scalability by using a blade-like design. Each of these blades would comprise of homogeneous compute SOCs that can serve as multipurpose SOCs, ADAS or IVI, or an IVI plus ADAS combined SOC, that can scale as the performance uh, goes up. The pictured modular zonal compute blade server is a step in the direction of the software-defined car. Now let's take a look at how Qualcomm Technologies plans to provide compute solution to address this evolving landscape. The platforms are designed as a homogeneous solution to address this transition to a zonal architecture serving as a central hub for high-performance compute, computer vision, AI, and multi-sensor processing. It also features a scalable and flexible software architecture that melds the functional and safety needs of the next generation cockpit. With the enhanced compute and processing capability, the new digital cockpit platforms are now one of the most comprehensive solutions in the automotive industry. They're designed to provide the best in class in vehicle experiences, as well as the safety, comfort and reliability, raising the bar for digital cockpit solutions in the industry. So what are the building blocks of these platforms? Well, we continue our heterogeneous design methodology, which allows us for specific hardware blocks to provide dedicated processing and acceleration for specific functions. The integrated AI engine provides acceleration for any machine learning, AI, and vision processing use cases. This engine also provides any personalization needed for occupants, including natural language understanding, climate control, audio and personal settings, and adaptive HMI concepts. We also have specific vision and perception accelerators that combines the integrated ISP with the necessary camera processing capabilities, be it for in-cabin or around-the-car camera processing. The platform also features a newly integrated safety manager and security subsystem that provides the safety monitoring and support for functional safety and automotive security needs. These blocks provide independent acceleration for specific functions while the integrated Cryo OctaCore CPU provides high performance command control and sequencing of all tasks and providing the virtualization support that is needed to isolate and separate safety critical and non-safe applications. To serve the needs of a content rich multimedia in vehicle experience, we've, we have our customized graphics, video and display processing units. The Adreno GPUs provide the best power performance for GPU acceleration in the industry and are designed to deliver the best in class rendering engine for the next generation of wide ultra-wide or even panoramic displays that are then processed and composited by an independent display engine. Premium streaming content can be decoded and decrypted and processed by our video and audio processing blocks. So you can see how this heterogeneous architecture provides the fabric for the multi-domain zonal architecture of the future. Now let's look at the software support for our platforms. We will continue to provide a flexible, scalable software platform with comprehensive support for popular high-level operating systems, real-time OSs, and hypervisors to support the virtualization and separation of domains. The BSP, the board support package, will include support for hardware engines along with the APIs for customers to take advantage of the underlying hardware. We will also be providing SDKs, software development kits, for our powerful AI and machine learning accelerators, advanced com camera, computer vision, and imaging pipelines. The platform supports many pre-integrated and optimized middleware and BSP solutions, including driver monitoring solutions, surround, and early rear view camera, multi-mic and multi-zone audio solutions. We've seen the evolution of the EE architecture and the SOC fabric that drives this evolution. But what about the user experience? What can the end user expect in terms of the cockpit of the future? With every generation of our cockpit solutions, we've provided a high performance, highly integrated cockpit platform for our customers. The Snapdragon cockpit platforms are designed to continue this innovation and deliver a rich multimedia, including premium content streaming, multitude of displays and camera integration, audio zones with engine sound cancellation or enhancement, and personalized sound bubbles. 
With the integration of safety critical foundational IPs and heavy AI accelerators and software framework that works with them, the user is provided a safe, protected, and distraction-free experience in the car, while the rest of the passengers can enjoy a media-rich journey. Our platforms are designed to provide this confluence of compute, comfort, and consolidation in the car. We hope we were able to shed some light on our platform capabilities, and if you have further questions, please reach out to us through your local sales and regional leads. From everyone at Qualcomm Technologies, I want to thank you for spending your time with us today, and we hope you enjoy the rest of Computex Cyber World Forum. Thank you.